Hey everyone, it's Todd from Gill Games. I wasn't planning on doing a video update today, but I uh, was just working on some, some new quality of life enhancements that, you know, like I usually do after uh, putting out a big update. And uh, I started working on uh, adding, um, well, what I started doing at first is uh, somebody had requested, they couldn't figure out how to add import photos, you know, which you go to the photo album and it's down here. But if you're, but if you're in the, uh, like the CD or the banner designer and go to photo, add photo, it wasn't obvious that you had to go over here first. So I added an import photo button here at the top. So now it's, it's real obvious. Oh, okay. You can just do it from right here. And, <clears throat> but the, but the other thing I want to show you is now you can import images that have transparency. So you can have uh, PNG images and use the transparency. And this, um, this doesn't really show uh, gradient transparencies and stuff, but it does support that too. Let me, uh, I have another one in here. Uh, okay. Well, here's, I'm going to do this. You might, you might recognize uh, this image. Okay. And I have another one that is a good example for more gradient stuff. Uh, this fire. So you can see it's just partial transparency. It's real nice. Um, they can make a really cool, let's see here. And I'm probably, before I'm done with this, I'll probably add an option for additive blending. So let's see here. Let me uh, do a quick little design. Let me grab that. I want to put that, uh, let's see here. This one. Move her down just a little bit. Move the sun up. Maybe size it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna move her down a little bit more too, because I want that whole sun on there. And then of course the, uh, I'm gonna change the uh, font and stuff here. Let's see. I'm gonna put this up on up on the layering. Yeah, let's just grab something that looks A for awesome. Sure, any one of these. Okay. Size it down so it fits. I'm not sure what looks great here, but um, you can change the background color. Uh, maybe I uh, maybe I should just rotate this sideways. Oop, not that, not that. Hey, it's for awesome. I want to put that sideways and just make it white. And scale it down a little more. Put it over here. There we go. Fantastic album cover. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't like that big flame covering up the middle of her body. So let me just move some stuff here. Oop, not, not that one. Yeah, let's move her over this way, and then we'll move the sun with it. There you go. So, real quick demo of uh, the new transparency support. But, oh, one more thing I wanna show you. Let me, uh, let me at least save this. Can we get out of here? Okay, I'm gonna go home. So, of course, imported photos can be hung on the wall in your homes like normal, but the photos with transparency, they're treated differently because since they have transparency, um, there's, there's no background like for the whole frame to work with, like the canvas frame, like the other ones. So, oops, I didn't want to do that. Gotta go here. 
they are treated kind of like stickers. They're like decals. They go right up to the wall. And a brick wall is probably a bad example. Let me put it over here. So they're stuck right to the wall flat. And if you have an image that is got gradient transparency, what you're going to end up with is um, it's, it's going to do a cutoff, 50% uh, or less transparency. It's going to be totally transparent. And if it's more than 50%, it'll be not transparent at all. And this is just kind of a limitation of using uh, these transparent images as decals on the wall because of uh, the way lighting works and stuff in a 3D scene. It's, it's totally different on the on the, the graphic designer thing because that's that's all 2D stuff. And so you have full full transparency and everything on that. So anyway, that's what I uh, wanted to show you. Um, just started working on that little feature and ended up looking really cool. So I wanted to show that off. This is gonna be on pre-live for a couple of days because I don't wanna just throw this out there um, just in case something does break. Plus I do wanna probably add that additive blending before it goes live. Uh, I think that would be really cool, especially for stuff like fire. Okay, that's it. Um, just a quick video today. Thanks for watching. See you later.